Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Playing some Lancelot today for you guys, and oh my god, what is that? Uh, what is that, man? Soul Viver? Uh, dude, I just wanted to have a relaxing Lancelot game. This is my first game on, man. I just woke up. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Alright, well, we're gonna try our best, regardless. Um, let's get ourselves, uh, what do we want on Lancelot? I think we definitely want to blink, but do we want to blink first relic? That's my problem. Do we want first relic? I think um, Horrific's pretty good on Lance. I mean, uh, pretty good in general, but not necessarily that great on Lancelot. Maybe I'm crazy for that. Maybe I am crazy for that. No, dude. I don't know what I'm getting first relic, man. What am I doing here? Whatever, we're getting this. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Surely, surely we're going to win this game based off of our concise decision making like you guys just saw right there. So anyway, so why are we playing, uh, why are we playing Lancelot? Well, I don't know. I didn't know what else to play. <clears throat> and people have been commenting. I think at least two or three different people have commented on recent videos. Or maybe it's just the same person three times, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's at least two different people, at least two different people, that have asked for Lancelot. And you know, I don't even mind playing Lancelot, so why not? Why not? It gives me an idea and it gives you guys what you want, or at least some of you. I know there's also another guy who's been asking for Hamazots, but... And I like Hamazots too. I'm sure you'll get your video eventually, man, but... For right now, we're camazots -less. Yeah, hopefully I can get this back off. Oh, I forgot to run my... I have to run, like, this program for my, my fans to turn my fans on. Okay, one second. If the video freezes or something, you know why? Because I'm tabbing out. One second. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know what you guys see when that happens. I don't uh, play in full screen, which is what makes it to where, like, when you tab out, you can't see it. All right, it freezes. But uh, the program I'm running, uh, MSI Afterburner, it, like... Gives you one of those prompts where it's like, you want to give permission to this program or something like that. I don't know. And that's what freezes it. So, if you guys uh, have any other questions about things that you didn't ask, let me know. Got you. Okay, so he missed his horrific. That actually might have been a pretty good play there if he hadn't missed the horrific. Uh, actually, I don't know. He would have had to have hit me with like literally his entire ult. We have a pretty good spike for us here. Uh, full chalice and a Jotun's, especially considering he doesn't have his relic or his ult. So we are looking pretty good to fight here. <clears throat> Although I don't think he will fight me. How that goes, how that be. Oh my god, he's giving us the rock. Dude, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. I can't believe I'm against a, a Master Splitter Soul named after Soul already. Time to rise. First game on, man. Let's go. I actually hate Soul too, by the way. I rarely lose to the character, but it's kind of like an Anubis situation where like, I usually have a hard time respecting her early game and I just kind of fight her for funsies, you know? And then I, I, I lose the fight and then rage because they have Bancroft's early game and Soul's early game is incredibly strong. I just remember like Blink Lan Lancelot isn't even like, okay, I don't want to say it's not good, but it's not like OP OP, you know? Because I can't blink on the horse. Which, and you would just say, okay, then just don't blink on the horse. Um, what's it called? Blink when you're off the horse. And yeah, I will. But like, that just doesn't sound nearly as cool, man. That doesn't sound nearly as cool. Hopefully I make it back for that red buff. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope I do. Because if I miss that, I'd be so depressed, man. Alright, he's like sub half mana though. Okay, I'll admit, I've uh, been a little bit out of it this game. Just a little bit out of it. Because like I said, first game on. First game on. Just woke up, okay? But uh, hopefully we get into the groove of things as, as time goes on here. Enemy missing. 
Oh, I didn't even notice that guy messaged me. Maybe I did, but I forgot. I don't know. But he said, "Ugh, oh, Lance, though." Okay, so we missed our entire Lancelot ult. That's good. Smart. We timed that well, though, at least. And he came back in and allowed us to hit him with the double, the double three horsey combo, boy. <laughs> what am I even saying at this point, man? Alright. I actually really do like Lance. I think he's a really, like, mechanical, mechanically pleasing character. Very satisfying character. The only problem right now is, like, I don't really, I don't know. My mechanics aren't exactly 100% warmed up, to say the least. I took my hand off the keyboard, or, yeah, off the keyboard, because I thought I was just going to be riding my horse. Um, bro, I do so much damage, I feel like. What the heck? Is Lancelot OP, guys? Is he just a broken character? Who knew? Who freaking knew, man? Just kidding. I knew. Uh, I mean, there's definitely some problems with them, like, <clears throat> I don't know. At least for me, because I'm not the best Lancelot player. I definitely uh, mess up my ult sometimes, and I mess up, like, uh, turning my horse to, like, throw the one and stuff. But he's not the most fluid character ever for me personally, because I just suck at him, kind of. But... He does a lot of damage, man. He does an absolute ton of damage. <clears throat> so right now we're building a... We're just... We're skipping trans, and I don't know if I'm going to go trans or not. It's probably the same as uh, the Tsukiyomi video. We'll see. I'm just gonna feel it out this video and see if we end up wanting the transcendence. But for right now, we're not going transcendence. We're just rushing our cooldown. Yotans into Genjis, and then we're capping out our cooldown with the Hydras here. I just remembered that I wasn't really explaining my build or anything. I've been doing a kind of a bad job at that kind of stuff here recently. I just kind of feel like a lot of the builds are kind of this, the same, like they're similar builds. And also I explained it at the end, right? So. Okay, so our cooldowns are already super low, man. We just like get on this guy. Dude, that is insane. Holy. Oh, I thought I could tank at least one shot. Maybe I could have if I like waited a little bit longer. Got some more shield up. In fact. The ult goes up by like 50 damage. Is that 50 damage? Yeah, 50 damage. Wait. Oh my god. That's... That's not 50, is it, boys? Oh. Okay, it goes up by... Uh... Dude, why can I not do math right now, man? What is what is the problem? 60 damage. There we go. There we go, man. What, what is, my brain is actually not functioning right now. I think we want... Actually, you know what, dude? Let's just go bobble. Why not? What's the worst that could happen when we go bobble? Bro, even now, looking at these numbers, like, dude, I'm just not fully awake, man. Like, because, like, 3 and 9 are, like, such simple number numbers to do math with, I feel like. At least, like, in the low number. Dude, like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about it anymore, man. I'm losing my mind. I did just wake up, to be fair. As I've said 15 times this video, I don't know if you guys knew or not, but I did actually just wake up. I don't know if uh, anybody ever told you guys that. <clears throat> and part of me wants to like just scrap this this part of the video to be honest, because I am so like, I don't know, not awaketh yet. But like, dude, I'm against a freaking Master Splitter Soul that has a bunch of stars. Like, I have to play this game out. If I wasn't against this, I actually would probably cut it out. Even though I think you guys probably find it funny. Me being an idiot. But.
Anyways, my point, my point in saying that I'm um, trying to do the math on my ult there was regardless of whether it's 60 or 50 or 70 or 80, um, I think putting points into my shield is just going to be more valuable for me regardless. And so we are going to back up here. Going to go get our bobble. Again, I don't really know if this is like a necessary thing on Lancelot. I mean, actually, yeah, I do. It's definitely not necessary, but it could be optimal to build a bobble. But I have no idea. This is my first time trying it out, so I guess we'll find out. What's my old cooldown? 45? Okay. That means it's a normal 90 second base cooldown. See if we can catch her off guard a little bit. I wait, she has Divine Ruin? For what, though? What does she have that for, though? Okay, dude, I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks so OP. Like, why? why? <laughs> this character is juice, boy. This character is juice, man. What the heck? Hmm. This should be up. Bro, my cooldowns are like non existent at this point. I don't know, when you press K and look at them, it doesn't look that sure, but. In reality, in the game, it feels very, very, very short. Or we get ourselves a Brawlers online. Call it a day. I think when I get Brawlers online, he'll actually just get one shot in the combo. I mean, he's already kind of getting one shot, right? I suppose. Time to ride, old friend. Time to ride, old friend. Alright, I think we can close this game out here. Face me. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna back by Brawler Speed Stick, which is gonna help a ton for damage, it's gonna help a ton for um It's gonna help a ton for uh, anti heal because she does have healing. She's got the Bane Crops and her one also heals her. We're gonna buy ourselves a couple of wards and a power potion. <clears throat> there should be nothing you can do to stop us. Assuming we don't uh, miss our abilities, right? We gotta we gotta land our stuff, man. Why did this minion wave get destroyed, bro? I mean, obviously Soul helped it, but like, when? I didn't see her. She just sentry warded, bro. Is this real life? gonna go clear the wave and then come straight here I would imagine or she might just already be here wait so she bought a sentry ward to defend this bull demon and then didn't even defend the bull demon because she didn't expect me to be able to do it that fast okay big money moves big money moves I can already feel my brain working better though I think it was that math problem earlier yeah 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 it must, have, it must have been the math problem. My brain's working now. My mechanic. I mean, honestly, I haven't even played this game that bad. Like, my mechanics. And sometimes I really do wonder if that's what happens, by the way. Like, I, I've genuinely thought this before. Is like, sometimes, the better I play, the worse I, like, talk. Sometimes. If I'm, if I'm in one of those moods, like, where I can't multitask, I guess. 
And so like, what I'm getting at is like, I feel like I'm using all my brain power on playing the game. Okay, so he just like wasted his three. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Pretty much nothing I wanted to happen right there actually happened. Like, I actually played that terribly. I, I, dude, I want one more fight versus this guy. I honestly want one more fight against this guy because I can do better than that. I actually played that entire engagement wrong. Because, like, I had a, a vision in my head of what was supposed to happen there, and I just messed up literally all of it. I didn't even pop my thorns. Granted, I didn't need to pop my thorns. That would have been the end of the game, so I probably just should have, regardless of whether I needed to or not, right? But I want to redo, man. I can do so much better than that. That was terrible, dude. That was actually terrible. The fact that it even worked it just is a testament to show like how far ahead I am. All right, come here. I just bought a full heart seeker, and I have a red buff, dude. Like, now you're actually so screwed. <laughs> There's no way, bro. How do I do that much damage? Oh my god. Bro, this character is actually nuts, man. Holy. Dude, I'm gonna have fun making this video. I can already tell. I'm gonna have fun making this video. Now I say that and then... I'm actually going to warm up more and actually become a better player as the video goes on, you know, because I'm, I'm waking up, but then I'm going to go against somebody who's just like way better than me at the video game and then I'm going to get destroyed. Typical, typical. But um, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching the uh, watching the game. I'll go ahead and skip you guys into the next one. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're off into the second game and we're against Jing Chen. I don't really know how I feel about that. Because I don't really like showing games versus guardians, to be honest with you guys, but I kind of just do, kind of just do like a day in the life kind of thing for the videos these days. Like it's it's a quicker, more efficient way to upload the videos and stuff. And I also think you guys like it. Like I think you guys like that it feels um, I don't know, it feels a little bit less YouTubey and a little bit more like real, I guess. Like not clickbait. It's just like I, I don't want to word this without sounding like an idiot. I don't know, it just feels like a genuine experience, like it's or organic cues, like I'm not just picking and choosing between losses and wins and, and cool games and bad games and this and that, like I just kind of show you guys what it's like, you know, queuing up and playing the character and seeing what they're like, right? Um, I probably should have got on my horse like a long time ago, lol, but this guy is level like 160 plus. So he might be decent at the game, and more importantly, he might be smart enough to realize that he's going to lose this game. NF6, and so it won't be that big of a deal to show it. And uh, also, Jing Chen, to be fair, is a pretty good uh, dual guardian. Mostly mostly late game, uh, as guardians go, typically. Uh, he's mostly like a late game guardian. Uh, he doesn't really do that much stuff in the early game. I mean, he's pretty hard to kill. He's got a lot of HP 5. And they buffed him to give him H more HP in his passive and stuff like that. Or just AP HP to begin with, because he didn't get any before. And so like he, he has a lot of like decent things going for him, but it's mostly the fact that his late game is actually pretty good. And I wouldn't be surprised if that's the reason this guy's playing him. Or maybe he's just doing it for fun, right? But like I wouldn't be surprised if he's playing him with the goal of getting to that late game stage and uh, actually being useful. Because I promise you. If this did go to 6 slot, I would still have the advantage. I still should win. But chances of uh, Jing winning late game versus right now are substantially higher. Like, substantially higher. Bro, I can't, I, dude, I won't even lie to you guys, that actually scared me. Like, in real life, that actually scared me. Like, I, I, I actually jerked my camera around, dude. That actually scared the crap out of me. Oh my god, dude. I, I'm not used to people having blink first relic or being smart enough to recognize that, like, I'm, like, he probably went to that small camp, right? 
he was probably like right here when I started tanking it and he came back to blink on me. Most people either don't have blink or they're not smart enough to like recognize that I'm tanking the wave and like come back. They're just gonna go for the farm, right? So anyways, with that being said, I shouldn't have tanked the minion wave. I should have just either backed or allowed it to go under tower. I think that's pretty obvious, right? But more importantly, God, that scared me, bro. That actually scared the crap out of me. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy dude. Dude, I'm actually like rattled. <laughs> I don't even get that scared of from like horror movies, man. I think it was like the combination of it being scary, but also the fact that I knew that I messed up, you know? Bro, Bro is Jing Chen OP, man? Like, what the heck? Might have to do a video on him. No. I actually do think I'm gonna do a video soon on Jing. Um, because I've actually been thinking about this for a while now because I've been thinking about just doing guardian videos to make the to make the uh, videos more interesting and he recently got that big buff like I was talking about a second ago right so I think I actually will do a Jing video soon probably not like soon soon but like in a week or so probably oh my god okay okay we gotta start playing for realsies bro for realsies okay we're down 500 gold and we're not even down one ah, dude this game mode is so bad how, am, how is he not even a level up? Don't get me wrong, he has more XP than me. He's gonna hit eight before me, you know, off this way probably, yeah. But still, how how is he not further ahead of me? Like, he just hit level eight. I don't think that, I need, okay, first of all, I need to stop underestimating his early game because clearly I've never won against a, a decent Jinx. I never went against the Chronos Pennant Rush, honestly. I think that's what it is. I've never get, went against the Chronos Pennant Jing. Um, they usually just go Bancrofts, and while Bancrofts does more damage, it has way less uptime. Like, um, you know, your cooldowns are pretty long, right? So, anyways, what I was getting at is like he's just able to do consistent damage to me, right? And I'm kind of playing a little bit loosey goosey, not being serious about it. Um, and he has insane sustain, bro. Like, I actually should not fight him until I get brawlers, probably. Like, his sustain is actually absurd. Especially, like, in the early game where I just don't do that much damage. I mean, I do enough damage to get him low, but then after that, what, what after that, you know? I don't know. Maybe when I get defense online, trades will go uh, in our favor. I'm still not worried about this game as far as win or loss goes. I'm more so concerned with when are we going to be able to fight him, honestly. I respect what he's trying to do right with the, with his ults. Um, I mean, I respect everything he's doing right now, to be honest, because he's killed me twice. But him killing me twice has nothing to do with his ults. Um... His ults have actually been kind of bad because, like, I just ult it every time. But to be fair, he just wants my ult down. So he has kill potential on me because he doesn't have kill potential on me with my ult up. So he's just trying to burn it. But I also think that he's trying to um, catch me off guard with his cooldown reduction. Like, he's trying to ult me when my ult's down. But he kind of can't because I rushed the same thing. Like, I also went cooldown reduction, right? Um, now, granted... I think Chronos Pinnet is better than Jotun's, but I think Jingle is a 100 second cooldown, so it's a little bit longer. I could be wrong about that. It could be a 90 second cooldown, but I'm honestly unsure. But either way, he would have to ult like he would have to ult like immediately, even if it was the same cooldown as mine. Time to run. Let's see. I think Lancelot's is just a normal 90 second cooldown. We're doing pretty good damage now. Maybe I don't need to wait for brawlers. He's juking me quite a bit. I'm actually uh, quite impressed with this guy, to be honest. I think he's playing this game pretty well. Definitely made it interesting enough to put it on YouTube, for sure.
Now, granted, did I help him out by playing like an absolute oop and like being a total idiot? Yes, I did. I did make it easier for him, but I don't know. I feel like I play like an idiot in a lot of these videos, to be honest, and people don't usually punish me for it. So, I mean, shout out to my boy Tom Zom. Never mind, screw Tom Zom. Why is he stopping my back? Poke him out with the scepter. So I used my uh, my horse there, which I was a little worried that wouldn't work because I was worried he was gonna break my shield with the ult, like do enough damage to break it. But right, as far as I know, the only thing I can stop Lancelot or get him off his horse is breaking the shield. Like I said, I was worried about him breaking the shield or stunning. And Jing ult is uh, not a stun. It is a knockback grab thingy mabobber, so. I was pretty sure we could just immune that, but even if it went wrong, I had beads, so. I'll be honest, that part right there was a little bit, it reminded me a little bit of what we were doing early game with the whole underestimating him thing and I do have my old, so I'm not really that worried about killing me here. I don't want him to... No, Tom Zom. Oh, wait, he's going Bobble Zing. Wait, who's going to tell him I'm going Bobble Lancelot, though? Ooh, the counter to Bobble Zing, question mark? Is it is is that actually a true statement? Maybe it is. I don't know. But yeah, shout outs to Tom Zom for making this game interesting, to be honest. Like um, like I said, granted, apart from me helping him, but the game's been pretty competitive. And it's not over yet, man. I'm surprised he's the one backing off there, to be honest. Time to ride, old friend. Again, I, I would be surprised if he backed off. I really do think he can win this. I mean, even if he can't like win it, he he can like not lose it, if that makes sense. And stand his ground and stalemate with me, I suppose. Is what I'm trying to say. Is it not crazy that, like, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong, right? We'll see what happens. But, like, is it not crazy that... Okay. Okay. Is it not crazy that um, my most competitive game of the day today is probably going to be this one? Like, some dude on Jing Chen is going to be my most competitive game. Because I would not be surprised if, that, if that's going to happen. I'm gonna heal up my tower a little bit here. Why not? It's not that low anyways, so it's not gonna take that long to heal. Bro, I really wanna play Jing in duel now. Is that crazy? Displayed a lot right there. Unluckers, unluckers. Oh, 
Oh my god, bro. Okay, he missed his one, which was like a really big misplay on his part. I missed literally everything, which is obviously a really big... Oh my god, what am I doing? Which is obviously a really big misplay on my part. Oh my god, dude. I am not playing very well today, to say the least. I don't, know, I don't think the first game was that bad, but this game, like... I truly do believe that I am straight up throwing, like, thrown for a loop with this Jing Chen pick, man. Like, I really feel like he's in my head right now. I truly believe that. Mm. My second relic. He's probably going to go mid and spam cooldowns, I would imagine. I could go thorns just to stay alive throughout his burst. I could go Aegis to Aegis some of his burst. I could go Thunder to chunk down the... Actually, I think I probably will go Thunder. Dude, these ults are so funny to me. You know what just hit me and what I just remembered is that Jing 1 reduces basic attack damage, huh? That is not cool, bro. That is not cool at all. Be right back. Yeah, I, I really do think I need a Brawlers because I feel like he's going to go med. I just have a feeling he's going to go meditation. And also his health chalice and also his uh, HP 5 is actually like enough to warrant a brawlers, I think. Kind of crazy to say that, but like I really do think it, it's enough. I should do decent damage with this heart seeker. And I would do a lot more with the serrated. Maybe I do go that over a brawlers. It's like really like the bobble is what makes the build awkward, right? Because I should be able to get serrated and bobble. Or serrated and uh, brawlers. So I don't do enough damage to this quite yet. Time to ride, old friend. Time to ride, old friend. My beads hasn't been that useful this game, to be honest. I didn't really think about the fact that I have like a billion ways out of the goal. Am I just supposed to beads his knock up at this point? Like. Alright, we poked him out even more. Did we poke him out enough to make him actually not come to this? I don't know, probably not, but... Okay, I think I'm giving- oh! He can't break my shield. Oh my god, that's so troll. Oh. Wait, he did break it with the dot. No! Let's go, dude. We're, we're capable of beating a Jing Chen. <laughs> Dude, this is actually like um, a tough game, dude. Like, this guy's a brawler. Let's be real, like, I don't know. I, like I said earlier, I think I played the first game mostly okay. Mostly okay. This game, I've been playing pretty poorly, and I think it's just because this dude's straight up in my head, bro. Like... I don't know what else to say, man. Like, he's just so manly on the Jing Chen. Like, he's just, <laughs> he's just intimidating me and making me play worse. What can I say, bro? No. Get away from me, man. I kind of like need to clear this wave, though. Will he try to kill me? Yeah, he blinked earlier in the bull demon room, right? Surely he blinked earlier.
Stop trying to stun my back, man. Just be normal. Uh, a weapon that rivals my mighty lance. A weapon that rivals my mighty lance. I'm surprised he still hasn't got the meditation. Yeah, I feel like he really needs that, man. Like, am I crazy? He's got to be getting it soon. I did opt to go the uh, serrated over the brawler, so we have no way to stop his sustain. But the idea is we'll just kill him instantly, and it'll be fine. All right, he got a power pot. Oh, and a sunder. Okay, I mean, that's one way to do it. I respect the Sunder pickup because Guardian's like, I don't know, you just need all the help you can get doing damage. But also because you, you can Sunder Lancelot off the horse, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if it like literally gets him off the horse instantaneously. It probably doesn't. But it gets it, even if it didn't get him off the horse instantaneously, it would get it, the shield down to like 1 HP. And you could, uh, you could hit him, right? And it would, uh... It would make him take increased damage after the fact, right? But I kind of just smelted him like an iron ingot there. This character's late game potential is actually absurdly good. Like, Lancelot's one of those characters, man, that, like, if you just don't get behind and you get to that late game stage, he actually does beat, like, a lot of top tiers. Very, very, very strong character. I'm going to go ahead and queue up another game for you guys. Probably just, like, one more. Because I'm not playing very well today. I'll be honest. Like, I'm kind of... Kind of, kind of embarrassed with this video, to say the least. So, probably just queue up one more game for you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll skip you into the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we're off into the third game. And this should be a this should be a competitive one, and one that I'm definitely not going to underestimate because Medusa is a very strong character, and I'm well aware of how much damage she can do. And that's not to say I won't die early game. I might try and try to go for some a crazy play, you know. But um, I think chances are high. I want Blinker Horrific. Hmm. I don't know, honestly. I think they're both pretty darn good. Let's just go with the Horrific. Why not? Anyways. Um, but I will not be underestimating her this game. I I understand what I'm what I need to do. I understand what I'm supposed to do in this matchup. Now the question is just will I do it? Oop. I would like to see what she has, although I'm pretty sure she just has Wing Shard and... Let's see. Okay, so she doesn't have Wing Shard, that's good. But she does have the Horrific, so you gotta keep that in mind. She can Horrific my horse. That's actually good for me, I think, yeah. She used one of her Viper Shots on my, uh, my horse, so she doesn't have it for the Minion Wave, which is not really a big deal, but it's, you know, it's something, right? I didn't even realize she didn't hit my archers with that too because I blocked it and like, you know, the, the spit goes behind you when you block it, right? But I was far enough up that, uh, I was far enough up that it didn't actually reach my archers. Which is pretty, pretty good there. Um, I don't really see a way that I'm going to out pressure her right now, to be honest with you guys. So I, I'm not even going to try to. I'm pretty much just going to clear that wave and then back off. She's going to think that I went straight to my blue. It doesn't really make much of a difference what she thinks, to be honest. Uh, we're going to sit here for a second, wait for our Jotuns. Got the Jotuns. This is going to feel very good for us. Of course, we need cooldown, man. But we don't really have great mana to like, abuse our cooldown quite yet. Or even health sustain like a chalice for example to actually trade with her so we're not in, like the greatest of spots ever but it does feel good get your item your cdr online regardless no okay i was greeting i was trying to i was trying to clear the wave 
I don't think I'm going to get this, but worth a try. We did end up getting it, which is great. Was my horse slowed? I can be slowed on the horse. Oh, please. Please let me go. Let me live, Bible Thump. Okay. <laughs> For those who don't know what Bible Thump is, it's uh, an emote on Twitch, by the way. I don't want that to come off as like some sort of like, I don't know, religious diss or religious... I don't know. It wasn't anything religious. It was just a Twitch emote. Please, don't cancel me. Please. I don't even know what I would get canceled for, but it's kind of the point though, right? You never know what you're going to get canceled for. You just get canceled, dude. You just get cancelled, man. You just like, you just get cancelled out here in this world. Well, she let us have the meteor, which is quite surprising, to be honest. I don't really know what else she would have been doing that whole time. Time to ride, old friend. Be right back. Be right back. All right, we're gonna get ourselves. Tier 2 breastplate. Tier 2 breastplate, so we're getting some mana, we're getting some cooldown, we're getting some health sustain. I'd say by the time we get our, our breastplate finished and we actually have 40% cooldown and enough proc to not get one shot, that's when the game starts to get fun for us. Now do we actually just straight up win at that stage? I have no idea, but definitely have a pretty solid chance at beating her up. Probably fight this as well. Oh, I'm very... Sad that I missed that. At least we got the Chester. Things are looking up. No, I didn't get to use my one on the minion wave. So right now we're kind of like trying to kite her while like clearing so we don't all right we do not want to take these viper shots these viper shots that are about to be coming out are not something that we want in our life oh oh my god i almost threw that kill i did not mean to dash i i was thinking about dashing and my brain just made me hit the button so i just dashed to narnia i feel like in my head i thought she was gonna dash towards me but she couldn't dash because she was in a cripple field. So like, I don't know, in my head, I was like thinking two things. I was thinking she's going to dash. And then my other more rational brain was like, she can't dash. But when I came to that conclusion, I just did what I did anyways, man, because I'm an idiot. There is wisdom in defensive tactics. There is wisdom in defensive tactics. Yeah, of course there is, bro. You don't want to die. You don't want to die out here on the battlefield? That'd be so embarrassing. I wonder if, like, there's ever merit to leveling the three before the two. Because, like, obviously that's going to limit your damage, like, a lot more. But at the same time, I don't know. Because I don't really use the Lance 2 that much, like, in, in horsey form. Like, I don't use this here. I don't do this that much because I think the other one's just like faster and like less predictable like I don't know like I, and also when you're leveling them as you can see like right here my, my two like which one you level matters uh to the horse like which normal ability you level corresponds with the horse as well so until you get the two maxed out that one's not good to use anyways in my opinion and then I kind of just get into the habit where when my two is maxed out I just keep using the one because I just think it's like more fluid like it's just better poke and stuff the two, I feel like you don't really use it unless you're like actually going for like an immunity frame or something of that nature, right? Like unless I'm avoiding something with my jump, I don't really use it, but maybe that's wrong, honestly. Maybe you should use it more often. Don't, I definitely do not claim to be a Lancelot professional. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> we need to regroup. 
<laughs> I meant to flick my mouse and ult towards her, but then I didn't because uh, she was ulting and I was afraid I was going to get stunned. So, <laughs> oh my god, bro. I need to get off this game today. Today is not my day for this game. It really just isn't. I don't know why, man. I don't know why I'm playing so bad today. Everybody just... Everybody has those days, though, man. Everybody has those days. What, who said that? Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana, one of those two. Everybody has those days, man. Everybody makes mistakes, okay? I will be sure to use this in the battles to come. Time to ride. Old Time to ride, old friend. Hopefully we don't miss this, uh... This red buff. That would not be fun to fight into her when she has a red buff. Alright, I used the two. Look at me go, guys. I'm evolving as a person. Do I just dive him for fun? Like, I don't know how smart it is, but like, it just seems like a fun play to make. I mean, that was pretty fun, so I was right about that. My thorns did 300 to him, and also another reason why we buy the thorns and pop the thorns there is because it makes us take 15% less damage as well. So that was pretty useful and important there, I would say. Now, we're being super greedy right now, I'll be honest. Like, this is super greedy to try to get all the buffs and the meteor. Oh. Alright, so we're just gonna give up our blue buff. Could be worse, man. Could be worse. I do not want to take the chance of dying there. That would be very bad for us. Oh, he does have Aussie now. Maybe we'll get a Brawler soon. Maybe we will get a Brawler's. A Brawler's beat stick. Time to ride, old friend. Time to ride, old friend. I feel like I've done such a bad job this video, man. Like, my commentating and my play has been just so bad today. But I'm not going to let it stop me from uploading, okay? In the past, in the past, I would have gotten depression and not uploaded today and just said, screw it. But the show must go on, man. Even if I'm playing poorly, the show must... Dude, come on, man. Just let me back. What is your... Pro All right, dude, fine. Let's fight then. Come on, let's fight, if you actually want to play the game. Come on. Yeah, I didn't think you actually wanted to fight, man. Didn't, didn't think so, you just want to stop my back the entirety of the game for no apparent reason. He gets his back off and I try to stop him. He's actually him. But I'm glad you got your back off, man. I'm glad. I'm glad you got to back when you wanted to. Seriously, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really happy for you. <laughs> now I have a power pot and serrated. Now you're going to die, bucko. Where you at, Mr. Medusi? Where you at? Good thing you stopped my back, huh? Really helped you. 
really helped you win this game. Really made a big, big, big difference for sure. Good job, man. You did it. Proud of you. Seriously, I'm proud of you. Be right back. Oh, I didn't even need to use my proximity ward there. Oh my gosh. Bro's getting dusted by the OP Lancelot. Wait a minute, weren't you supposed to be crippled? Yes, I, I guess it's old to be fair. Wait a minute. I just kinda thought that Lancelot Cripple would reapply after the after the uh, old CC Mutal would go off. I thought it would like reapply, but it does not, I guess. Back on top of this little Chester boy here. Oh look, he's gonna try to stop my back. Ah oh, yes, you're getting so much value out of this. Ah oh, yes, you're gaining so much from doing this. You're such a smart player, oh my god. Ah <laughs> oh, yes. I didn't realize I was dealing with an intellectual here. Get your bull demon online, man. That's gonna help you out a lot for sure. Nice. Splendid work. Now you're gonna win for sure. You got the bull demon. What, what's stopping you from just winning this game now? Nothing. You got it in the bag, man. Couldn't tell if he was holding the minion wave or if he just clears that slow. Time to ride, old friend. That's such a good voice line, man. Hop up. Hop up. Right, we didn't really get anything off of doing that. I was hoping he would, like, panic and use a relic or something of that nature, but he didn't. But one thing I will say that I've noticed, especially when you're going bobble and stuff like that, is when you have like a low cooldown ult, sometimes, not always, depends on the player you're against, but sometimes I feel like it's better to just like waste your ult at the start of the fight, because then they're like, okay, his ult's down, and they don't know when it's going to come back up. So basically what I'm saying is, is you just waste your ult, and then they play up a little bit, they play a little bit more aggressive than usual, and then your ult's back up, and, they, and then they die, and they're like, and you already know what they're saying to themselves, or saying in their Discord call that they're in, if they are. Whatever, they're just like, dude, I didn't think his ult would be back up. Like, he literally just used that. You know, like, I think we've all been there. Now, in this situation, I didn't really get to ult him, like, literally immediately after. Because I, I wanted to back for my Heartseeker. I feel like it's a pretty important upgrade for me, but... It does not appear as though my opponent is going to leave his base anytime soon. This is always the most fun fun and exciting part about Duel. Is when people decide to not play it. <laughs> I mean, uh, no disrespect, I understand why he's camping. I mean, I do a million damage, like, it's hard for him to fight me. So, I mean, I understand why. But he's still camping. Just because he has a justifiable reason for camping doesn't mean he's not camping. Okay, let's get that straight. He is camping, but I understand it. I would probably camp just the same if I were in this <laughs> if I were in this matchup. We 
poked the Titan a little bit, but honestly, we didn't get as much poke as I would have liked to have gotten there. He did just dash. Okay. Okay. If I backed right now, I would be giving him the tower. Time to ride. I mean, if he keeps playing around, like, he can not. Bro, why, why don't, I feel like that happens so often, that Hunter players lose like that. Because they just get the slightest advantage ever. Like, they get, like, literally the most tiny advantage ever because... Like, I backed off like I was low HP there, is what I mean. Like, I was like 60% health, not even that low. They get the tiniest advantage ever, and they just feel like they have to push it. And they feel like they have to win the game like that. Yeah. To be fair, though, I was just complaining about him camping. So, I mean, granted, he only left his base because uh, he had, quote-unquote, the advantage there. Um, but still, he did leave his base, so it's like, you just can't please me, huh? Like, I, I complain when he's camping, I complain when he's aggressive, just... Just a, just a yapper, man. What can I say? I'm just a yapper. Well, I, I hope you guys did enjoy watching the video. Uh, like I said, or like I said earlier, I do explain the builds and stuff at the end as per usual. So that's what I'm going to do. Although I did actually get to late game in most of these games. So um, I think um, I think you guys do know the build. Um, I think I've decided that Transcendence is just out, guys. Like, it's definitely a solid item for sure, but... I don't know, there's some characters that I really like it on and some I don't. I'm going to tab out here and open up my volume mixer so I can mute Lancelot's like annoying stuff in the background. All right, so almost every single game you're going to be going this. It's like pretty much the same, I would say. Uh, it's going to be this, very similar to um, the previous video. So, um, breastplate. All right, so when you're against a magical character... You want to go Genji's and you want to get Hydra's because Hydra's caps out your cooldown. And this is where you can get Bobble. You can also wait to get Bobble and get it later. But personally, I think Bobble's very, very strong. Um, it's very versatile as well. Like it allows you to do like unpredictable plays. It allows you like people get uh, caught off guard by how much cooldown you have. But just keep in mind, you don't have to go Bobble. It's perfectly fine to not go Bobble. So it'd probably be like, boom. Um, and I understand I didn't do this every single game. Sometimes you just got to like go based off of the game and how it feels right. In fact, actually, I would probably put brawlers here. And if you didn't need brawlers, then well, you skip brawlers, right? But you'd probably get like serrated. Uh, or it'd be like brawlers serrated. If you don't need brawlers, then it'd be, then it would be, where's this bad boy? Heart seeker. So it'd be like, boom, boom. If you didn't need brawlers, if you did need brawlers, it would be boom. Boom. If you did need brawlers and you didn't want bobble, then it would be boom, 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 like that. That would be your normal Lancelot build. It'd be perfectly fine. Um, if you are a physical, or if you're against a physical, so you were gonna put the breastplate here, you don't really need the hydras as much. I like to just go bobble immediately after. If you need brawlers, um, then you get brawlers. If you don't, then you get sometimes you can also just do it like this too. Like you don't have to go anti-heal super early. You can go boom, 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 just like that. Um, one thing I will say is like if you're really like another option is you could just go crusher over brawlers and just have way more damage. But it really just depends on how much healing they have. Or like if they don't have any healing, then you could just go crusher there, call it a day. Uh, there's nothing really too wrong with it. You could just go hydras again here at the end. And like um, you could overcap your cooldown even with the brawlers. That would be fine. Nothing really wrong with that. Um, so I think that's pretty much the build. These are all your core items. I don't really think that I would throw up any any other honorable mentions. Um, I mean, okay, honorable mention. There is an argument to be had that Titan's Bane is better than Serrated Edge. You can go Titan's Bane over Serrated if you like it more. It It is more damage. Like, it is straight up just more damage. You're building Serrated because it feels better because of the movement speed and the lifesteal. 
Although admittedly, Lancelot doesn't really get doesn't really value life steal that much, and if he does, it's going to be on the abilities like Yoden's Vigor, for example, Yoden's Glyph. Um, but it's still good though. I I prefer to go serrated pretty much every game. But Titan's Bane is more DPS. So if you're just looking for that one shot potential, then definitely get yourself a Titan's Bane, right? Um, without further ado, I think that's all I have to say for today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching the video. It does mean a lot to me. I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys. I did just play three Lancelot games. I didn't weed out any bad games. We don't talk about these casual joust losses. Smile. Um, but yeah, we did just uh, play three Lancelot games. I don't like show you guys only dud games or whatever. Blah blah. blah as per usual, uh, I think most of you guys know that by now. But maybe we have some new viewers and whatnot, right? Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.